Good evening. I'm Ryan Wolf. And I'm Marcy Martinez. Thanks so much for joining us here tonight. First on four, a probation officer at a juvenile detention center has been fired. She's accused of performing a sex act on a teenage cadet in San Benito. Tonight, how a trusted veteran at the Daryl Hester Juvenile Justice Center became charged in connection with a sex scandal there. Juveniles sent to this state boot camp school in San Benito are here for long-term discipline. Cadets try to relearn right from wrong. It's a mission that comes into question when a probation officer is charged with improper sexual activity with a teenager in custody here. She admitted to the crime. Patricia Aguilar is accused of performing oral sex on a 17-year-old male cadet. Sheriff Omar Lucio says she lured the teen into her office following a basketball game where the incident last week took place. When somebody who is a, an officer of the law, like this particular probation officer, does something like that, well, it becomes a crime. It didn't stop there. He says Aguilar gave the cadet her phone number, and the two met in the parking lot of this San Benito Walmart, where she again performed a sex act on him while he was on supervised leave. And that's what led to her termination here at the Daryl Hester Juvenile Justice Center in San Benito. Tommy Ramirez Jr., the CEO, says he was quite disturbed to hear the allegations against her, saying employees go through strict hiring measures, just one of the safeguards to protect any Inmates here. And while he wouldn't interview with us on camera, he did talk to us about the case. This particular individual has been here for several years and has been really a good employee. Uh, we are baffled, disappointed, sad uh, that this something like this happened. We, we just don't understand how or why it could have happened. But it did. Even though the cadet is considered an adult, rules prohibit outside interaction with a staff member. Ramirez says the teen faces disciplinary action, and officers will be monitored and educated to prevent this from happening again. Administration at the center first learned about the case after another cadet made an outcry. The teen apparently bragged to others about what had happened. Aguilar faces up to 10 years behind bars and a $10,000 fine. I first posted a preview of this story on my Facebook page to read what others have been saying about the arrest and to share your thoughts after seeing the report tonight. Head to Facebook and search for Ryan Wolf. When you find my page, click like. I'm online chatting with people right now.